searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to have taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Wide, heavy wheels. Merchant's wagon. Veered off the road at high speed. Doesn't bode well. Yeah, merchant traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cataplepus. Wonder what spell requires that. A dry red from Zubaran, southern slope. Notes of black currant and citrus. Ah, pains the heart. Sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. Human from an artery. Can't be far. Wouldn't have made it. He waited for help. It never came. That's Velen for you. Just when I was starting to miss you. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you too close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded as fellow magic practitioners. Oh, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll- Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you, but you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. 
If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The king been hateful. Third mouse, what happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now to return to the fairy tale. I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gonna transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gvela Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Faster. Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red. But let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. How, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, you'd think the only work to be had in Velen would be in farming. <laughs> Very true. So, I've two options. I can either start cultivating turnips or leave. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why, I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Uh, why are you even interested? Because I grasp the importance of the studies conducted there. In the wrong hands, the findings could do immense harm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So? 
Your fairy tale, your rules. Really? Then close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four. All right, that's enough. Kira, want to play hide and seek? Why not? A skirt? Guess we're playing hunt the hare, not hide and seek. Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. Hmm. Shame. Could have kept her shoes on. Now where's that Cinderella gone to? Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me. But I'll think of something. Know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no. It has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Egfain Navi. Kira, where? Put me to sleep with a spell. It means she's up to something. Ah, Fike Isle. The tower. A light. Top floor of the tower. So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? What do you want with those papers? Why, I aim to use them to continue important work that a man's tragic death put on hold. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm-hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. You're either incredibly gullible, or you're trying to play me again. Whatever do you mean? Radovid has one objective. To defeat Emir, curing Catriona, stopping the plague, won't help him do that. So he'll either burn you at the stake with those notes among the kindling, or he'll make you use them to create a weapon. Don't be ridiculous. Bacteria cannot be controlled. Not yet. But it's possible in theory, isn't it? In theory, it's just as possible for a Dachshund to impregnate a she-wolf. I don't have time to debate this, Geralt. I'm going to see Radovid, whether you like it or not. It's your conscience. But you do know hundreds, thousands could die. What of it? What difference will it make if Nilfgaard's legions die by steel or because of some fucking germs? None. A plague can go wrong, go wild. A sword won't. That's the difference. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. 
Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day! I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Care Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? As long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. Yeah, kinda. So before I go, I'll need you to hand me those notes. All right, all right, take them already. Farewell, Geralt. Or rather, see you soon. You get your coins worth, even less. Thank you, Witcher. Where would I be without you? Your guards run off. Louts didn't get the chance, thank the gods. It's them you cut down, waited until we passed the last settlement, then attacked. And to think, I made sure the scoundrels were well armed. We stood no chance against them. Why'd you come all the way to Velen? Not many to sell to around here. Well, there's the Baron. Perhaps you've heard of him. Worth the journey just to sell to him. We'd never have set course for these gods forsaken lands if it wasn't. And we've not much competition. That's the upside. Thank you. Please, this was to be theirs at our destination. Now it's yours.
Why are you crying? Me. Me betrothed went to the woods to see to his snares. He didn't come back. Something must have happened. Heard him scream, but was afraid to go there myself. I'll go to the woods, see if I can find him. Thank ye. I've coin. I'll pay ye. Won't have good news for the woman. Wild dogs killed her man. You didn't find him? No, I did, but... Nay, don't say it. It's clear from your face. Please, take this coin. Can't accept this coin. I'm sorry I wasn't able to bring him back alive. Might I at least fetch his body? Wouldn't advise it. It's dangerous. If you decide to go anyway, it's near his snares. Thank you. Farewell.
God demanded six sucklings. You didn't bring but a single scurvy run. No wonder he cursed us. I were doomed. You's the one brought soured wine. Curse is your fault as much as mine. What are you doing here? What? The sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the All God, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. We scorned ours. And curse the old village. The All God, you call him. First I've heard. Is some new deity? Nay, it is ancient, revered by our forefathers. They say it were like this Roslav of Oriton came here to gather brushwood. And suddenly, for no reason, a bush burst into flame. Then, Roslav heard a voice from the ground demand an offerings and obedience. We've been coming here since then, bearing gifts. In exchange for which the All God watches over us, keeps us from evil. Mm-hmm. Plain to see that. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mock us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me hounds. But what can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and lotusks or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this All God of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you have to stand afore the altar and cry out, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, I might just listen to a foreigner. Oh, all God, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have They it. must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought. Driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? <laughs> How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. Wine. Mm. More like vinegar. Someone drank it anyway. Could follow the scent. There's something here. Need to use the eye. Disturb my divine being. Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. <laughs> Expected the All God to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? 
Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately, they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curds and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell them that. Listen here, lardass. You're gonna be satisfied with what you get, or I'll feed you to the ravens. Plowing reformers. No, fine, fine. I'll sup more modestly. But just till the end of the war, not one day longer. Anything new? Talk to your old god, face to face. And? Will he show us mercy? He will. Promise to be pleased with whatever you bring. <laughs> I told you. I told you the all god's merciful understanding. Thanks, Witcher. Oh, one last thing. Did you know there's a crypt beneath this hill? I want to take a look sometime. Architecture is fascinating. Greetings. What do ye want? So the notice about Jenny of the Woods, you posted it, right? Oh, aye, twas me. You do it. She's a witcher, is you not? Straight off, a picture in me granny's book. Monstrum, or a portrayal of witchers. Remember like you were today. We be afeard of her. But Jenny of the Woods, what's she to you? Let's talk rewards. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, how much would ye wish? Oh, have it your way. I'm on it. Know if anyone's seen Jenny of the Woods? Could tell me more about her. Old Willem must have. But he won't tell you naught. He were weak of heart. We found him in the fields this morning. Other folk are afeard to go out nights. But you might try Agneta, lives at the end of the village. Word is she saw the wraith. And nothing happened to her? She wasn't hurt? Agneta? Outlived three husbands, that one. Jenny of the Woods won't do naught to that wench. Oh, that white one. Wraith that haunts the village. Heard you can tell me about it. Oh, I, I saw her. Saw Jenny of the Woods with my own eyes. I can see you now, Witcher. What did she look like? In detail, please try. Truth be told, I didn't see her too clearly. It, it were growing dimpsy, and this pale shape loomed afore me, mist-like. I comes closer, and the cloud thickened, and something like a visage came out of the mist. What did you do? What do you think, me love? That I'd wait to see the wraith in full glory? Ran to the village to tell folk what I'd seen. I see. So she appeared to you just after twilight? Important clue, thanks. You take care now. A woman came through here, barefoot. A piece of fabric, possibly from a dress, got snagged on the undergrowth. Stride indicates she was running, probably why she tore her dress. Somebody chase her? Couldn't outrun her pursuer. He stabbed her or slit her throat. Strange, left the knife behind. Dried blood on it. Could come in handy. Dragged the body through here. Clear trail. Lugged the body all the way to the woods. Buried it here. Shallow grave. Murderer must have been pressed for time. Something sticking out. A letter? A scorned lover killed the woman, seems to me. A night raid. Alderman probably knew the girl. I had to ask him. Greetings. What do ye want? 
Zula and Bakai. Did you know them? They must have lived in this village. Good God, he knows? Tis witchery. They disappeared, both of them, into thin air. We've not seen them a week now. I found the girl's grave and a letter. It's clear she rejected Bakai because she loved another. Zula and Anta, aye. We thought they'd fled north to seek happiness there. Bokai departed round the same time. So that's to mean our Zul is the wraith. Can't be. Such a good lass. And so pretty. Any idea where they used to meet? Mm, well, can't say for sure. But the young'uns, they go to the clearing, mostly west of the village, past the fields. Zula. Good gods. By the way, I can hope to lift this curse. Gotta drive the wraith away. Stand a chance if I can bind it to one spot for a while. The night wraith won't appear in daylight. Greetings. What do ye want? Jenny of the Woods is gone. Got rid of her. <sighs> She'll not be back? No. I know how to dispatch night wraiths for good. Aye, of course. Your reward has agreed. Many thanks to ye, Master Witcher. Farewell. Farewell, those ruling the wilds. We'd have starved long past. <laughs>